Hi dolls, it's Damaris and I wanted to share with you a short project that I discovered in the making of this Disney album. Now the album itself, there is a video um, in my channel for this album, but in particular I wanted to focus on this um, 4x6 page or pocket insert that I created. I used two different 3x4 pieces and adhered them together and then I made this fun little side pocket here. Now this has a tag, it has um, some journaling on it, but what I also wanted to show you was that this has um, these vellum balloons that I created with um, just a few supplies that I had in my stash and I wanted to show you how I made that and what I used. So that's what this video is going to focus on. I hope you'll stick around and see what that looks like. I'm going to put this away and like I mentioned you can see a full um, display of what this album is. So the supplies I'm using, um, just a few things. You're going to need either a Mickey Punch or a Mickey Die. These are by EK Success. I also have this one um, also by EK Success. So you can find these online, maybe scrapbook.com. That's where I was able to purchase these two on scrapbook.com this one I found on Amazon um, and we'll talk about this one in a little bit but I do recommend you using this confetti uh, Disney or ears you're gonna need scissors for sure you're gonna need some sort of adhesive I'm using the Tombow permanent adhesive um, this is clear tape runner Here's just a few little pieces that I punched out using the punches with some pattern paper. You're going to need some vellum. Okay, so that's what I have here. Obviously, your <laughs> sheet of vellum will be a lot more bigger than mine. Um, and so I'm just going to go ahead and pick one of these shapes out and get started. So this is what I've created. When I first made those balloons, I was having an issue because the tape was coming up in the front of that uh that ear or that mickey ear the shape um so i was having issues trying to figure out how to get it to stay without um showing any of that glue or adhesive behind and so in playing today i figured out because in you know in preparation to film the video i had to figure out a way to uh, for a solution so i did that and i'm going to show you exactly how it's going to work it's pretty simple um, the concept behind it. So I hope you will enjoy watching and yeah, it is open on the sides and that really doesn't bother me because it's completely Sealed there. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna find our um, Vellum sheet. I'm pretty sure you can use acetate, but I prefer the vellum It just looks more realistic. Now. I also have these custom um, craft dies and stamp market dies. These are balloons. These are different shaped balloons. I don't have a size on this one, but they can both be found on scrapbook.com. The reason for that is because when I tried to punch the vellum using this punch, it got stuck. So I don't recommend you using a punch for vellum. So let's just eliminate that from the entire process. So um, cutting with an actual thin metal die works a lot better. So I'm going to place this down here. I'm going to start by using my, um, my large one. So the trick to that is that we're going to make a fold on our vellum and we're going to place our die on the vellum where the opening is at the very top and the uh, folded or the scored line is at the bottom of the balloon. And you're gonna leave just a little bit outside of the cut so that you can um, have a fold in the vellum. And so I'm gonna show you exactly what that looks like. I'm gonna run this through my machine. The machine I'm using is a Spellbinders Platinum. So this is my sandwich. I have my Two pieces there and here's my third piece and I'm gonna reposition that because I think it moved so I'm gonna go off to the side here maybe you can catch a little bit on camera make sure that everything looks nice and lined up and I'm gonna run that through my machine I'm gonna go first forward 
and then when I hear that click, I'm going to come back again. And now our vellum piece is ready to play with. Okay, so here's our vellum piece. Again, I left the bottom edge outside of that cut die. That way, when you open it, it's one solid piece. So this is our, this is what we're gonna work with. Okay, we're gonna take our die cut Mickey and I'm going to use this tape runner to run just a little bit of glue on all three sides. Okay, keeping that open, we're gonna place our Mickey right somewhere near the bottom. And you can turn the balloon sideways. I mean, if you think about it realistically, that inside a balloon, it kind of floats around within the casing. So that's fun. And the last thing you're gonna need is some string. I'm using this thread. This is $2.99 from Hobby Lobby. Um, so yeah, you're gonna need some of that. So I've already pre-cut this piece. We're gonna put it inside of our balloon so that it's hanging down okay it doesn't really matter because this you can turn it you can shift it um, to and from while it's still in there and then we're going to go back and we're going to place a little bit more adhesive right at the very top just a little smidgen not too much and we're going to make sure we're lining that up nicely and flatten it out if you get any on your desk just rub it off that's something you can do so as you can see, we can move this string all around. So what I'm gonna start doing, I'm, I'm gonna take my string and pull it one side longer than the other. And I'm just gonna create two knots. So we're gonna do one knot and wrap it again. And do another knot. Okay, now you'll notice that you're gonna have an extra piece here. So that's the one you're gonna cut. You're gonna cut off that shorter one. This is where your scissor comes to play. So you cut off that string, and now you have your vellum Mickey balloon. So that's the pretty easy way to make it happen. You can use pattern paper to make these. I found this one was really cute. You can use that yellow with the stars. So you can build your fun little... Um, Mickey or Disney Park inspired balloons and use them on your projects and that's something that makes me extremely happy and I thought I would share that with all of you Disney fans and crafters out there. So thanks for watching. Don't forget to leave a comment below if you have a question or if you just want to say something nice. I would really appreciate that. Um, otherwise have a great day. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Bye.